Hey, good afternoon YouTube. Today's the 4th of July. It's been a while since I've uh, made a new video or evaluated anything. We have the uh, sight mark. This is called the Wolfhound. It's a 6 power, 44 millimeter objective lens. Uh, this is set up for the uh, 223. It's got a 3OM MI. MOA mini dot on top of it also um, like I said it's set for 223 the 55 and the 62 grain uh, NATO cartridges so it's uh, for the military you know it's a beautiful scope um, why spend the money on a uh, uh, ACOG when you can have this for much less uh, actually, what you spend on this, uh, as opposed to what you spend on the ACOG, you could buy yourself a nice AR-15 rifle and the scope. So there you go. Um, is, this was sent to me for evaluation. So we're doing a tabletop review of this uh, beautiful Wolfhound scope. Uh, I like it. Uh, it looks really nice. Well, uh, let me get the scope out and show you. It's the Wolfhound sight. This is the mini shot up top here. It's got a cover on it, as you can see. It's all set up for the 223. It's a beautiful little scope. Fog proof, waterproof, clear optics. It's got the uh, horseshoe type uh, reticle in it uh, where it's got two dots inside the uh, little horseshoe. Uh, you know, and uh, you got the drop compensator all the way out to 600 yards or 600 meters. Uh, you got a flash kill here. Uh, you got a Picatinny rail up front. Of course, your, your mini shot's up there, but you can put a laser up there if you wanted to, too. Uh, red and green uh, reticle lights up. It's a lighted reticle. You got uh, five positions red and five positions green. I recommend when you use this, uh, you you use it on the lowest possible setting, and then you adjust here for the clearness of your target. When your target's really clear, uh, you're set. You're ready to go. And you can engage targets from uh, 100 yards, actually 25 yards with this, or 10 feet, you know, within within 5 feet to 25 yards with this here. And then 50 yards even with the little mini shot. And then out to uh, over 100 with this to, to 600 yards. Uh, and using the drop compensator. It's got a nice uh, locking rail here I love it I, I think instead of sending this back to him I'm gonna buy it <laughs> you know I'm gonna put this on my AR so uh, wolf found 6 to 44 you just can't beat it folks the sight mark is on the mark every time uh, Brad, uh, would like to uh, say special thanks to Brad out there at Sightmark uh, for sending uh, sending this to me. Anyway, I uh, really, uh, really like it. And uh, we'll be back with the tabletop review. Okay, go over some of the... Uh, uh, the Key features of the Wolfhound, it's IP68 waterproof and dustproof, extremely low power consumption, red and green reticle illumination, prism optical system, rubber armored single piece aluminum body, as you can see it's rubber armored right here, uh, just just well made, I, I'm, I'm impressed, uh, capped exposed turret options, there you go right there. 
Uh, you can take them off if you want to. It's a shooter's preference. The, the key mini shot uh, M spec features 100% waterproof and dustproof. It's the mini shot right there. Okay, extremely low power consumption, windage and elevation up right there, and then on the side uh, for the uh, windage. As you can see right, uh, right here, it's up and down, left and right, uh, on that, your brightness control. You got 10 reticle brightness levels, 5 green and 5 red, ambidextrous uh, digital switch brightness control right here. Uh, steel protective shield, it's all steel made of metal it's, it's I'm impressed I'm just totally impressed with it uh, you got 12 hour auto shut off advanced parallax free lens design rugged lightweight aluminum housing this is the aluminum housing that's it's built into scratch resistant lens coating right there uh, just a just a wonderful piece of equipment. I, I'm I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I, I think I'm going to end up owning one of these. Uh, they make uh, two of them, from what I understand. One's uh, uh, for 308 too, uh, which is a nice option to have. Anyway, uh, the Sightmark Wolfhounds. Uh, $399.97 as opposed to your Trigicon that's uh, $1,199. They're basically the same thing uh, as far as specs go. It, uh, but this is specific at 100 yards. Your, your parallax setting is, is 100 yards. Your bullet drop compensating reticles for 55 grain and 62 grain. So it's set up uh, for your uh, your NATO cartridges that uh, standard uh, NATO uh, 5.56 uh, bullet weight so uh, the the ballistic coefficients already been been designed into the scope for those two bullet weights so it, it should be beautiful when it shoots we're going to go out to the range and engage some targets out to 600 yards with it see how we do um, it's a capped low profile fully multi coated lenses uh, the lens coating is uh, uh, a multi coated lens you get a CR2032 battery and it lasts from 200 to 4000 hours you get aluminum in uh, T6 construction and a hard uh, a rubber armor uh, coating on it. Uh, the length of it is 6.7 inches. IP68 submersible to 10 feet. And it's a uh, nitri it's, it's uh, purged gas type uh, nitrogen. Uh, the operating temperature is minus 40 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the weight is 23.5 ounces. It has a limited lifetime warranty. You got the red lens covers right here. Your lens covers. And you got your flash kill uh, screw on honeycomb filter. You just uh, screw it on, screw it off. See that? That's beautiful. I like that. I wish all scopes had those. Well, if I was going to go buy an ACOG, I'd second uh, choose the second uh, option and I'd buy this sight mark. Because the ACOG wouldn't even come with this. Uh, the reflex sight, the M spec mini shot. So, uh, you know, the mini shot, 
uh, it's priced at $299. And then you got the Mini Shot M Spec. No, the, the Vortex Venom is uh, pl uh, priced at $299. The M Spec Sight Mark site is priced at $199. So it's $100 cheaper for the Sight Mark than it would be for the Vortex. So, uh, you know, probably twice as better, too. Uh, I would go with the sight mark every time. Now I come with some little uh, mounting, uh, different mounting capabilities here. So you can change your mount. And it's a uh, Picatinny or, or Weaver rail. You could, these are risers. It's like a quarter inch rise. Like if, if you had a front sight post, that you probably have to use this. But the uh, reflex sight at 13% lower uh, price point than the mini uh, uh, shot M spec offers a double life and uh, has the highest setting o overall uh, of the uh, Vortex Venom. The mini shot includes a uh, clickable windage and adjustable elevation and windage. 12 hours shut off. It is shut off automatically in 12 hours. You got a protective uh, steel shield. Uh, you got this nice uh, uh, rubber dust cover. It covers the whole the whole site. It covers. So you don't get any dust or, or garbage on it. You know, even if you took that over the over the pond uh, downrange, you know, uh, you know it's armor coated, so it's going to stay protected. You know, it, uh, if I was going to go into combat tomorrow, I'd want one of these on my AR-15. I know that for sure. Anyway, uh, that's it on on that. I'm looking forward to going to the range. You got your user's manual here. And you know, dumb grunts never read the user's manual. And then they get make a video and say how how horrible uh, their, the product was that they were reviewing. Well, okay, I'm guilty of that too. So, but uh, seriously, folks, uh, read the manual. Give it a fair evaluation. If it's garbage, say it's garbage. But give it a fair evaluation. Give everything a fair evaluation. I don't care what company you're you're reviewing, or or what uh, type of firearm or whatever. You know, what, uh, not too many people are uh, prejudiced against other companies, and and they uh, want to put down the uh, little company. They might sell something a little cheaper and say that's junk, just because they sell it cheaper. Well, sometimes the most money doesn't buy the best bang for the buck. And that's what you're looking for, the best bang for the buck. That's what the military does. They go, remember, <laughs> their stuff was contracted by the lowest bid. <laughs> so there, <laughs> there you go. So give, 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 give these companies a fair evaluation, fair and honest. Don't, uh, don't, don't uh, throw your integrity away. And, uh, you know, just give them a fair uh, evaluation. Too many guys get out there and whine about these other companies and say that this is no good. That, oh, uh, uh, my, uh, my Sinkins Precision is better than their Anderson. Well, that ain't true either, you know, uh, uh, from tests that I've done. Uh, or... Uh, Leopold is better than Weaver or uh, one of the other uh, lower priced uh, point uh, scopes, you know. So unless you have the scope and you ha have both of them and you own both of them, uh, uh, don't give an opinion if you never owned it or never used it. Uh, but uh, as far as uh, the ACOGs go, overpriced, way overpriced, folks. I would never spend that kind of money on that. I've had one. I've used one.
and uh, was not worth the money. Uh, for what you buy, buy this for, you can buy the AR-15 and this scope and set it on top of your AR-15 for what you pay for one ACOG. Uh, you buy AR-15 and all. But, uh, you know, that's it. I'm going to give it a fair evaluation. Tabletop review, from what I see, you can't beat this for the money. Beautiful. Beautiful, well-made. It feels like a mil piece of military equipment, you know? It's even got the looks, the feel of it. And uh, that little horseshoe reticle, I wasn't used to that. Uh, there was a company, uh, Primary Arms, has a scope with that. And I got a Primary Arms scope. It's got that little horseshoe reticle with the dot in the middle, a little chevron in the middle. Uh, I really like that, uh, that setup. Um, as far as that reticle goes, I really, I really like it. But uh, at six power, 600 yards should be no problem with your AR-15 and your 55 grain or 62 grain bullet. And uh, I recommend zeroing it at 100 yards. And then uh, you want to go out further, like say get it zero to 200 yards, make that bullet strike about an inch and a half high. At 100 yards, and you'll be zeroed for 200 yards. But uh, if you don't have the range that has 200 yards, by all means, zero at 100 and just have it go 100, uh, one inch, one inch higher, and uh, you'll be right on for 200 yards and 300 yards. So uh, enjoy the day, this Fourth of July, celebrating our freedoms and the men that fought for them. Let's not forget our, our, our countrymen that uh, answered the call of duty. They went when it wasn't popular, folks. You remember who spit on them when they came home, who protested them while they were there. The same people that uh, sent them to war in the first place. The Democratic Party sent us to Vietnam, spit on us when we came home, uh, just uh, protested us, called us uh, baby killers denied our benefits for Agent Orange and post-traumatic stress disorder. The Vietnam veterans paved the way that the VA is making some changes and by, by leaps and bounds now. So remember, remember those guys that fought and served. Because uh, the, there was many that wouldn't go. They'd rather burn their draft card and run to Canada. Uh, what happened to all the highly weird crowd that didn't run to Canada? folks. They didn't run. They promised to go, but they didn't leave. <laughs> oh, well. Enough of, uh, i got to get off my political soapbox because my blood pressure will go up. Anyway, uh, enjoy this 4th of July. Remember th those that fought. Especially remember those that made the ultimate sacrifice. Our brothers in arms that gave it all so we can enjoy the freedoms we have today. Remember, join the NRA, support the right to keep and bear arms. They stand in the gap for us uh, with the uh, Second Amendment. Make sure you write your senators and congressmen and tell them to support our uh, Second Amendment rights that we may uh, continue to be a free country. Take care. God bless. Enjoy the 4th. If you drink, don't drive. If you drive, don't drink. Catch you later. Bye-bye. This is Rick from South Carolina. Black Rifle. Bye-bye.